Now more Good Day Dakota on KX News. At 634, welcome back. Over this past weekend, hay bales spontaneously combusted near McCluskey. And while this may sound a little odd to you, it actually happens more often than you might think. New this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler tells us why high moisture hay bales are a fire hazard in this week's weatherwise. Very interesting, Amber. Well, you know, Alicia, it does defy what we know about fire. Something is wet enough to catch on fire. It's hard to believe but it's just the case for a hay bale. Now, there are three things that are needed for any fire to begin. That would be heat, fuel, and oxygen. Well, we meet all these requirements here, so let's first talk about the heat. Of course, the sun heats the hay bale, but there's another process that helps it get even hotter and that's moisture. For a bit after it's cut down, hay is still going through its respiration process. This is when a plant is producing its own energy by intaking carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. A byproduct is heat and moisture. Water is, has a high heat capacity, meaning it can aid the hay bale into heating up easily to well over 140 degrees inside, which is the beginning of the danger zone for a fire to occur. This is why most hay bales will be hotter, most wet hay bales will be hotter than any dry hay bale. Now, of course, the fuel is the actual hay itself, and the fire typically starts on the outside of the hay bale because that's where the oxygen is. We need that for the fire to begin. This is all a recipe for a combustible hay bale, and this is what happened in McCluskey over the weekend. The Goodrich Fire Chief, who was on the scene, told me about a thermal imaging tool that they have now. Uh, they use it to read the temperatures of an object, and he said, once he came on this scene of this fire, another hay bale that hadn't caught fire was up to 300 degrees inside. So they were able to cool it before it caught fire. It, it's just another tool in the toolbox to make informed decisions. And when, uh, especially with the drought this year, with water being um, a commodity um, that you don't want to waste, you can, you know, pinpoint the water to where the hot bale is and you don't have to waste uh, people resources or um, you know fuel or anything else. According to the National Ag Safety Database, hay fires usually occur within six weeks of baling, but fires have happened and have been known to happen in several year old bales. Alicia, Chief Galvin, uh, he'll head out to farms at request to monitor hay mm -hmm. bale temperatures. If anyone watching this right now may need help with that, check with your local fire department and law enforcement offices because many actually have these thermal imaging devices that can help you. Oh, very, very interesting. So the, what do they do to cool those bales? Then they just they would put water on them so sure. they can pinpoint they can take a picture of this hay bale the picture is reading the temperature mm -hmm. they pinpoint the hot spot it tells them what the mm -hmm. temperature is then they can pinpoint just the water and it saves re resources as well and yeah. it saves that hay bale absolutely well very interesting thank you very much amber and there's still plenty of news and weather ahead